How to find the mediation effect in SEM? In this video, we will discuss about how to find the mediation effect in a simple and easy way with an example. First, we will discuss about mediation model. In a structure equation model, when we draw a mediation, we need three variables, independent variable, dependent variable, and mediation variable. Here, x is independent variable, y is a dependent variable, and m is mediation variable. Now, let us see a small example, like customer satisfaction impacting customer loyalty. Customer satisfaction is independent variable. Customer loyalty is dependent variable and trust is mediating. When we draw this model, we want to investigate, we want to research how much is a trust mediating between satisfaction and loyalty. Satisfaction will have impact on loyalty. But if trust is there, how much effect the trust is having between customer satisfaction and loyalty. This is what we call as a mediation model. Now let us represent with x, y and m for convenience purpose. x is independent variable, y is a dependent variable and m is mediation variable. Now when we want to do research on mediation effect, three important effects must be observed. The first effect is direct effect direct effect of x on y must be first observed how much is the effect the independent variable is having on the dependent variable second important observation is indirect effect how much is x impacting y through m this is called as indirect effect here only we will come to know how much is the mediating variable impacting between x and y this is indirect effect and third effect is a total effect total effect of x impacting y how much impact x is having on y as a total so direct effect indirect effect and total effect must be observed in the model now we'll take first example in in this example three variables x, y and m are taken. The data is loaded into required software. You can use SPSS AMOS or you can use Smart PLS also. Once the data is loaded, as usual, you run the model and check the significance that is model fit. In both cases, you can check the model fit in AMOS or in a Smart PLS also, you can check the model fit. Once the model is fit, now come to the model and check the first important thing is direct effect when i have taken some data and i have run the model i got the direct effect of x on y is 0 0.725 and it is p value 0 0.001 when p value is less than 0 0.05 then the impact is a significant at 95 percent confidence interval so p value must be always less than 0 0.05 then only the impact is significant so direct effect I got a 0 0.725 which is significant and second observation is indirect effect indirect effect of x on y through m is 0 0.214 this is also significant the p-value is 0 0.021 which is less than 0 0.05 so this is significant third observation is total effect total effect is 0 0.939 this is also significant so direct effect is significant indirect effect is also significant and total effect is also significant it means that see total is 0 0.939 in the presence of the mediation variable the direct effect is reduced how much it came uh, it has come to 0 0.725 because the indirect effect is 0. 214. This is significant. So we can conclude that the M variable is mediating between X and Y because the M variable is having an impact of 0 0.214. That is a coefficient. 
regression coefficient we call 0.214 and the significance value p value is 0.021 so this is the first example and let us do second type of example discussion in this case when i taken a separate data i have seen the direct effect of x on y is 0.725 p value is 0.001 this is less than 0.05 so this is significant indirect effect that is x on y through m is 0.014 p value is 0.121 which is not less than 0.05 so this is not significant means the m is not mediating between x and y see the total effect total effect is 0.739 this is significant so total effect is nearly equal to direct effect that is the mediation variable is not significant so we can conclude that the mediation variable m is not mediating between x and y not mediating significantly why because the p value of indirect effect is 0.0121 which is not significant so this is the important observation now let us take another type of model where i have one more mediation model mediation variable that is i have m1 first mediation variable m2 second mediation variable in this case we have two mediation variables m1 and m2 now let us discuss when you have two mediation variables how to do the analysis now first thing is find the direct effect take the data do the model fit once required model fit is achieved then check the direct effect x on y next observe specific indirect effect that is x impacting y through m1 this is called specific indirect effect when you have only one mediation model uh, you will be having direct eff indirect effect only but when you have more than one then you must see what is a specific indirect effect that is x impacting y through that particular mediation variable now this is specific indirect effect of x on y through m1 next is specific indirect effect of x on y through m2 and the next one is total indirect effect x is going to impact y directly and indirectly and this indirect has now become specific between m1 as one indirect effect and through m2 as another indirect effect and you must even observe what is the total effect of x on y so these observations must be done direct effect specific indirect of effect of x on y through m1 specific indirect effect of x on y through m2 total indirect effect of x on y and total effect of x on y i have taken some data and did this analysis i got direct effect of x on y is 0.165 and this is significant because p value is 0.00 which is less than 0.05 and when i observed specific indirect effect of x on y through m1 is 0.2 209 and this is significant and third observation specific indirect effect of x on y through m2 is 0.217 p value is 0.000 which is less than 0.05 so this is also significant now we can understand direct effect is 0.165 and indirect effect specific from m1 is 0.0 209 through m2 is 0.217 and total indirect effect will be the sum of the two specific indirect effects that is 0.426 and this is also significant and you can see total effect is 0.591 and the p value is 0.000 now you want to comment whether m1 is significant or not just see the significant value so m1 indirect effect is how much 0.209 and significant so we can conclude that m1 is mediating between x and y 
In the same way, we can comment for M2 also. The mediation variable M2 is also significant. So we can say that M2 is significantly mediating between X and Y. So when you have more than one mediation variable, you must check specific indirect effect. And when you have only one mediation variable, you must check only indirect effect. I think this explanation is clear. Right. Now in this example, both M1 and M2 are having significant mediation effect between X and Y. Now let us see an example, another example. Here I have one more third mediation variable that is M3. But M3 is not directly between X and Y. You can see X to M3, M3 to M2 and it is going to Y. Now how you are going to find the mediation effect of M3 in the model? Do the analysis for this. Think, write your opinion in the comment box below. Thank you.